Well, good morning everybody. We are, as you can see, we're picking up water again. And I always enjoyed the view up here like uh, I do at John and Cheryl's too. And that's so nice, but they're actually talking uh, for thunderstorms in Taliban today. So uh, it's uh, about 6.30 a.m. in the morning on Sunday the 9th. So we're up getting uh, water again. We weren't intending to uh, get water today. But uh, when I delivered up at John and Cheryl's yesterday, I uh, only had about seven containers. And uh, what I'm going to do is I told her I'd come back and fill her up. So then she should be good for the week. Uh, so I'm just running here. Yeah, about two and a half minutes a container. I kind of time them here. That gives me an idea how long it's going to take in order to uh, <laughs> in order to uh, be able to fill. I got 21 containers today, but uh, this is what it looks like back up the road to. Uh, the main road they're kind of down in the hole here a little bit but uh, yeah beautiful country as you can see and of course when I come in I've got to back down in here so I can fill the containers and now so much better that I got a new set of front tires here I was like I said about every day every other day I was getting a flat with the old one so it was definitely time, but uh, they're filling all the containers up here. This is a daily deal for everybody here, and everybody is still getting water here. And Beth came down with me this morning, and that. Uh, and one of the twins, one of the twin girls is out here this morning. Yeah. One they bring to the in Bagaka. Oh, the other one? Where they live in. Yeah, but today will come. Baby, up here, up here. And you can see all the, the mango trees down here are all in flowers. This is the time of the year when they all flower up and when they have to spray the trees. So, yeah, it looks like it's running over a little over two minutes, a container here. So I got 21, so it'll be about 45 minutes. Yesterday, it was actually under two minutes. Boy, and it really went quick loading. So... But this gives you a really good idea of uh, basically what we go through every single day here, or mostly every day. Like I said, we weren't intending to uh, pick up water today because we've got enough at our place. But uh, I want to make sure that uh, Cheryl is full up there. I noticed the mountain green. Oh yeah, well the rain they got. Yeah, everything. You can see in the far distant, uh, the hills and the mountains there are really green. And that's the rain that we got last week. Like I said, that's enough to kind of green everything up, as you can see here also. It's pretty well greened everything. It doesn't take much. The ones up front here... Uh, a lot less so, but in the in the far background there, you can see, well, they might have gotten a whole lot more rain back in there too. But yeah, some of them are really green. And uh, once the rain starts, how it comes. And like I said, they're talking thunderstorms here today. So we'll see. Just because it says it on 
Hacky weather doesn't mean it's going to happen here. And we're so accustomed to that. And kind of take you back here to, to see how, about how long it's going to take here to fill this. Like I said, I'm over two minutes, about two and a half minutes or so. And I, like I said, I generally like to, to time it, so uh, then I got an idea of how long I'm going to be here. Like I said, that one day it took me two hours. Oh, it was running like four minutes a container. The water was really slow. Uh, and that makes for a really long morning. Yeah, we're running at two and a half minutes, so it's a little bit slower than it has been. But uh, it'll get done. Boy, so quiet. There's just a, a very little breeze at all here. So quiet, the clouds building up. And that's normally, like I said, early in the morning, it's generally fairly clear. And then as the day goes on and it warms up, uh, the clouds build up. And I know they got uh, a couple of good rains in Taliban that we didn't even see a drop here at all. And we were talking, I was talking when I was here to the owners yesterday. And they're from... Uh, uh, Claren, which is uh, south of uh, Tubigon, and they've been getting all kinds of rain. And they kind of figured that we were probably getting a lot of that, and no, not at all. Not at all. And you can tell when you drive down there, even towards Tubigon, how green it gets uh, once you get past uh, uh, Getafe and Buena Vista. It really gets green, and like I said, they're going to be setting up for uh, planting their seedlings and planting rice here probably real quick and especially if we keep getting the showers here so this is our daily chore <laughs> what more can I say when uh, water is such an important commodity here it is just uh, it is by far the most important commodity and never having really lived without it it's really something here uh, a whole new experience of living to pick up water and having water uh, so important uh, back home of course in the states you just basically turn on the faucet and it's there uh, And so much we take for granted there that uh, people here, wow, like I said, if you're even if you're in town, in Taliban, there was a whole section that ran out of water, a whole barangay that ran out of water in Taliban. So uh, even in the, in the cities here, you're, you're not guaranteed water. And even when we lived in San Francisco, uh, you got water maybe early in the morning, very early. <laughs> <laughs> talking 2 3 a.m. in the morning uh, once everybody started using uh, in the morning as they woke up oh the, the supply just went down to zero and eventually would uh, stop and then during the course of the day as the usage dies down it starts to build up and that's living with the water situation here and they've never really solved that which is uh, why they're still a third world country here so I'm going to kind of let you all go. Uh, everybody have a good day and have a good Sunday. It's the Lord's Day today. And uh, enjoy the day as uh, we hopefully will be enjoying a part of this day. At least later on, maybe uh, go do a little bit of visiting. And that uh, Steve and Amy are, are back, so we'd kind of like to see them. So maybe we'll stop in there and uh, 
pay him a visit. Until then, everybody, have a good day, and God bless every single one of you.